welcome back to Jerome B. Farm and Homestead. This video is going to be a follow-up to uh, unboxing of this Greenworks G-Max pole saw. It's an uh, eight and a half foot, I think it says. So we got us a bunch of uh, Widowmaker limbs out there. I call them that because uh, I try to mow around them with my ZTR and man, they'll take you out. And especially on the tractor. Uh, the roll bar, and I keep my roll bar down mowing just because of this, but it still sticks up some. And that roll bar will catch a limb on a tree when you're going by, and you'll duck. And as soon as you get by, you raise your head up, well, that roll bar catches that limb and it flings it back at you. And it'll pop you right in the back of the head. <laughs> so, we're going to take care of a few of these uh, ones that are higher up, this little pole saw, and check it out. So, uh, Let's uh, get out there and get started. So we got us a, a fire down here. I got it going. So I got some hot coals. So I'll uh, get these all cut down. I'll leave them laying and uh, I may chop some up with the uh, loppers and uh, get the tractor and take them over and dump them in the fire and take care of them. So uh, let's get started. Here. So uh, this elm tree here died this this year, so it's it got Dutch elm disease. We have a lot of uh, we call them Chinese elms that are here out here on this place. And uh, what happens is they'll be green, and water will start forming down around the trunk, and it's like none of the water gets up to the leaves, and the, the tree turns brown and, and dies. So another one in the chicken coop over here. Uh, that tree there was green uh, half of the year. In fact, I had to trim some leaves, uh, trim some limbs off of that to get it off of that solar panel. So uh, anyway, I won't be using the electric chainsaws and the pole saw for that though. I'll use my gas saws for that. Uh, I'm using these electric saws just to do these little quick jobs. Okay, let's get this thing put together. It goes together pretty easy. The uh, the ends are shaped uh, kind of egg shaped, and it's skinnier on one side than the other, so you can't get it together uh, wrong because it just won't go. That makes the electrical connection in there, and you just thread this thing on there. And you can buy extras of these if you want. This uh, little extension piece. I noticed they had those on Amazon. If it's not long enough for you. Had it upside down. <laughs> Okay, we probably don't even need this middle piece to do what I'm going to do here, but uh, I'll go ahead and leave it in there and let's let's get started and uh, get that limb off. I'll try and get a good camera angle there. One thing we need to do before we get started is uh, put some bar oil in it. Well, that's a little hole. I need a funnel and I don't have one handy. Got a little uh, indicator here on the side. You can see it fill up. Right there. Chain is uh, good and sharp, or tight. It ought to be sharp, it's brand new. It's never been used. Get the battery put in it. Man, 
that cut fast. You always want to cut a little bit on the bottom. So when you make your cut, the limb doesn't hang up there and, and swing over. Man, I honestly think this cuts faster than the than the 40 volt chainsaw. This might be a brushless motor here. All right, let's take care of some of these over here. This little one, I don't need to undercut it. Slim hair's uh, damaged from ice, so we need to get this cut off. Save this tree here. Really don't need the pulse off for this, but that's what we got right now. Man, I am thoroughly impressed with this. Some more ice damage right here. These limbs here are pretty annoying. See if I can do it without an undercut. Yeah, it, that chain's good and sharp, so it, it goes through it fast enough, so it starts, it cuts it off before it has a chance to swing. But uh, I would want to do that on a limb much bigger than that. That one started to swing a little bit. One more right here. Just gonna get this little short one right here. This one's dead. This one here is pretty low. Arm's getting tired. <laughs> yeah, that one started swinging there. Must have missed my cut. Okay. Get this one right here and uh, we'll call it quits for this little grove here. We'll start picking up limbs. Man, this, this thing is awesome. Get this one right here. Well, I've created myself a lot of work.
Okay, so I am very impressed with this Greenworks G Max uh, little eight inch tree saw. It's uh, eight and a half feet long, and I cut a lot of limbs with it, and it's still got a lot of power. I've been using the uh, four amp hour battery I bought uh, in addition to the two amp hour I have, and uh, it's still got plenty of power. So uh, the balance on this thing, with the battery in it, it's balanced pretty much in the middle. When I did my unboxing, I said it was pretty heavy out on the end, which when you stick it way out there, it, there is quite a bit of weight on the end. But uh, you just set it down on a branch and uh, it just goes right through it nice and easy. So it goes together, comes apart easy. And you can buy extra sections if you want to make it longer. Uh, it would probably be pretty hard to handle if you made it that long. But uh, you can also run it short if you want like that. So, uh, man, I really like this. I think it's a great purchase. And uh, I've got some other Greenworks uh, tools that I bought. So I have the, uh, the 40 volt chainsaw. And uh, I'm not as impressed with their chainsaw. I didn't get the cordless version. So uh, if you get their cordless, if you get their uh, saw, uh, be sure you get the uh, the the brushless. That's what I meant to say. The brushless version of their saw. It's about eighty dollars more. So uh, it's like a hundred and eighty versus a hundred and twenty or thirty. So uh, it's a lot better saw. It cuts a lot faster. So uh, that's the end of the video. Oh, uh, one other thing. So I did a lot of cutting, and it used about a half a tank of oil. So I know it's oiling really well. The chain stretched a little bit not too bad so we'll tighten that up for the next time so uh one bad thing about this you don't realize how many limbs you're cutting and that's a lot of work there's like five minutes of uh work after for every limb you cut to pick it up and take care of it so i've been burning mine so that's it that's the end of the video give me a thumbs up if you would and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel on your way out and we'll catch you on the next one take care